Iran has started the countdown to the launch a scientific observation satellite that is part of a program the United States had previously described as a provocation. Beginning countdown to launch hash Zafar underscore satellite in the next few hours. In the name of God, Iran's telecommunications minister, Mohammad Javad Azari Jeromi, wrote on Twitter on Sunday. According to state news agency Erna, the minister said less than 2 million euros $2.2 million had been spent on making the satellite and that it would have cost five times more if Iran had wanted to buy it. On February 1, the head of Iran's space agency said the 113-kilogram Zafar Victory in Farsi would be launched into orbit 530 kilometers 329 miles above Earth by a Samorg rocket. Its primary mission would be collecting imagery, Mortiza Barari told AFP news agency, adding that Iran needed such data to study earthquakes, deal with natural disasters and develop its agriculture. The Zafar was designed to remain operational for more than 18 months, he added. While the Islamic Republic's satellite program has concerned some Western countries, Barari Said Iran supported the peaceful use of outer space and that its activities were transparent. Iran launched its first satellite Omid Hope in 2009 and the Rasad observation satellite was sent into orbit in June 2011. Tehran said in 2012 that it had successfully put its third domestically made satellite Navid Promise into orbit. The Zafar's scheduled launch comes days before the 41st anniversary of the Islamic Revolution and crucial parliamentary elections in Iran. It also comes at a time of heightened tensions between Tehran and Washington, after a January 3 U.S. drone attack killed top Iranian general Qasem Soleimani in Baghdad. Iran retaliated days later by firing a wave of missiles at U.S. troops stationed in Iraq. The U.S. has raised concerns in the past about Tehran's satellite program, saying the launch of a carrier rocket in January 2019 amounted to a violation of curbs on its development of ballistic missiles. Iranian authorities said the PAM message satellite, which authorities said they launched it to collect data on the environment in Iran, had failed to reach orbit. Long-standing acrimony between Tehran and Washington was exacerbated in 2018 when U.S. President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew from a deal that froze Iran's nuclear program, before issuing new demands for its development of ballistic missiles to be curtailed. Iran maintains it has no intention of acquiring nuclear weapons, and says its aerospace activities are peaceful and comply with a UN Security Council resolution that placed restrictions on its program. Replying to a tweet that asked what happens if Zafar fails like its predecessor, Jerome said, we will try again. Iran's internet services have faced cyber attacks for the past two days, according to the ministry. Officials have not elaborated on the source of the attack or its likely motives.